This is Sam from Colasoft. Welcome to this video. Today, one of our clients asked us for help, that his network was out of work that they couldn't open any web page and send email. So I asked him to capture some ping traffic of his network, and sent me the packet file. Let's help him to find out what the network problem is. Run COPSA 7, choose replay analysis mode. Then add in the packet file into the ready to replay list. Without any other settings, click this icon to start replay directly. Replay is done. First we come to the dashboard tab. The graphs show that the traffic is not big. We can conclude that, no machine is keeping sending a large sum of packets, to block the bandwidth. And we can sure from the protocol tab, that only ICMP is used in the traffic. However, in diagnosis tab, there is one record, IPTTL too low, which means a packet has passed too many routers. And we can see the anomaly happens at IP address 172.16.208.33. Let's start from this address. Right click on the address, and locate it. Then, go directly to the packet tab. We can see all the packets are ICMP packets and we find the delta time between the packets is very small, and there are more than 12,000 packets. This couldn't be normal. Just a simple ping can't produce so many packets, it looks like network loop a little bit. To confirm our guess, we should go down to the digits in the packets. We can compare the field information of different packets, by checking the fields in this pane. While we come to the identification field, we can see there are so many packets have the same identification number. We know that when ICMP packets has its own identification number, there's no way that so many packets have the same number. Now we are much sure it's a network loop. But to sure this, we need to see another important field, TTL value. Check the time to live field. We can see that the same ICMP packet loops around the router, and each time it passes the router, its TTL value is reduced by 1. Until its TTL value comes to 0, it's dropped by the router. Then another packet does it again. Therefore, we are very sure that the problem comes from network loop. We told the admin our diagnosis result, and he checked his network and find that the problem is from a router finally. This is the story of solving the problem of network loop. So, did you learn how to find the network loop? This is the end of the demonstration, thanks for watching.